today I'm going to try the pick and dip method. So I'm going to try that actually, just to see, so we get some real time action today. Because there's a few other videos about it as well, pick and dip method. It does look interesting. I think it's more for like the, the it's down in the south, isn't it? Down in the south, in London and on that kind of area and stuff like that. So, yeah, so I think it's more, we're a bit numb up north, aren't we? So, we probably don't pick up the, the best methods, but I'm a traditional method if you don't know. I think they both have the pros and cons, really, don't they? But we'll test them out today. I think the pick and dip's brilliant for the hot weather because I did a little bit of it yesterday because obviously you couldn't spread too far or else it was just going to dry. So I would say the pick and dip method is brilliant for the summer weather, 100%, because you're only spreading one brick at a time. Let's see how good it is. Right, let's put it to the test. I should just quickly add that there's no right and wrong way to do it. You find the best way to do it for you. If you want to work for speed, then you've got to find the best way of doing that. Whether it's picking it method or whatever, you've got to find your own way. And if you want accuracy, find your own way with accuracy. There's no right and wrong way. I do it the traditional method. It's been it's stood the test of time for many, many years. And I think one interesting point as well about the pick and dip method is I've never, I don't think I've ever seen it used in the world's fastest brick layer. You know the Spec Mix 500. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen it in that. So it would be interesting to see somebody pick and mixing, <laughs> pick and dipping in the Spec Mix brick layer 500 speed test. So. That would be interesting, wouldn't it, to see, to, to put it actually to the test, to see if it is faster. Because there's a few messages, I've seen another video somebody sent to me, but he didn't butter his brick, so that would be, you, you're going to be faster. I would be faster if I didn't but, butter my brick. So that you think the time you save buttering, say 40, 40 bricks, then you're going to be faster, aren't you? So we'll put it to the test anyway and let's see what happens. We're going to go with the pick and dip method first. All right, and I'm going to do a timer. So we're going to start right now. I'll do it, but I'll just bottom my brick first. All right, one down. Try and get a bit of speed going. Oops, see, forgot me. <laughs> forgot the water. Way too much marks in it, The trouble with laying the frog down is I'm not, I'm not one to speed me, you, you make loads of mistakes, don't you? Like, start putting bricks in, shouldn't. And you get messy. Speed's not my thing, so. But I thought I'd try it for a bit of a, a bit of a laugh. At my expense, not everybody else's. Yeah. 
How are we doing Jung on time? Huh? How are we doing for time? It's two minutes right now. Two minutes? Yeah. No, but we're getting we're getting picking mix in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, make more cement. More cement, see? I'll put it up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Look for the side. I don't know how bond is, but everything's going through the roof here. here. Definitely not one for speed, my standards go through the roof. You can't be bang on and be too fast. It's impossible. You miss things. a bit now, which is great. <laughs> <laughs> going as fast as I can. You saw me there, I made a lot of mistakes. Because it's not my thing, you see. I reckon it could be fast though, if, you, if you're doing it all the time, you know. I tried to copy what the Scandinavians do as well. With the, you know, you angle your bricks so you squeeze it out to the front. Because I'm thinking if you've got insulation at the back, especially the Kingspan, then you're not going to be able to clean that as much. Uh, unless you put it in afterwards, here, yeah. Because there's quite a bit there, but I mean, you get a bit with everything, don't you, really? 
Take two, I've changed my top, I had it around the back, I forgot. Always representing, you see. So, we're going to try the traditional method now. So here we go. I'm probably not going to spread all the way across, but I'll spread a few brick. Alright, so here we go. Let's go! for time, Is four minutes right now. Oh, oh. this time is so quick. What? This time. It's so quick. It's only four minutes. But, but. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. don't
Huh? How long what? And stop. Dude. I felt, it just felt more natural to me because that's the way I do it. I think it's a bit more free flowing. A little bit more cleaner on the beds to be fair, but the, the uh, perps are still the same, so they're gonna need a scrape. I felt comfortable doing that because I'm, I'm used to doing that, you see. Right, so there we have it. Uh, for me, the traditional method wins, obviously because of time and accuracy for me, because that's the way I'm used to doing it. But I think they both have the pros and cons. You know what I mean? It's, it seemed a bit fidgety to doing the picking mitt, and it seemed a bit stop start like I didn't know where I was. But that's because I'm not used to it. Don't forget, I'm not calling it. You can lay a break however the hell you want to. It doesn't. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, you can find your own way. Do it however you like. If you think it's faster, it's up to you. I have no problem with that. Good luck to everybody that does it the pick a dip method, the traditional method. I just feel a bit more free flowing with the traditional. Yeah, so there is two methods of laying brick. Choose whichever one you like, it's entirely up to you. I don't know, what do you think? Whichever you prefer, it's up to me to say. But we all do things differently, don't we? And that's what makes it all unique. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. Just the, the right way is the way you do it. As long as you join us. <laughs> Go over it. As long as you join it for full. <laughs> Trying to get a good example. As long as your bed joints are full, yeah. your perp joints are full, you're laughing, aren't you? That's the way to do it. Lay it with an half and fork if you want. Lay it with a spoon. Right, guys. So that was an interesting demo. Uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.